Hey guys, so uh, quite a few people ask me to make a moonwalk tutorial, so I know a lot of people can do it, but a lot of people also can't. So, <laughs> I'm going to do a small tutorial. Uh, basically, I learned, to do the, I learned to do the moonwalk Michael style. It took me three months to learn it. Um, I have a way, I call it the cheating way, which your moonwalk will look exactly like Michael's, but it's the easy way to do it. Um, this way took me about only a couple days to learn, and I did this way for about two months, and then at the last one I forced myself to do Michael style, and then our Michael style. So basically, here's how you do the moonwalk. Um, what Michael does is he pushes back with all his body weight on each leg as he pushes the opposite leg back. <clears throat> so, the leg that's being slid back you put no weight on it. I think it's a feather, it's not even attached to your body. So you're just kind of going, you push, and there goes the leg. It flow back here, see? It sighs back. Now the cheating way to do this is to not actually try and do a moonwalk every time. You know, don't keep, don't keep actually trying to do a moonwalk, you're just gonna screw up, right? So what you wanna do is the best way to learn the cheating way is to literally just keep going like this. Keep sliding one foot back, one foot back. One foot back, one foot back, one foot back. The foot that's not being slid back goes on its toe straight up. On the toe, straight up. The other foot that's being slid back stays flat on the ground, does not move. Okay? See? Slid back. Hasn't been lifted. Hasn't been lifted. You have your, you have your toes, your foot, and your heel flat on the ground. Okay? You only put it up when you hit the end of your slide. So, it's up, it's, sorry, it's still down, and now I'm gonna put it up. And as I put it up, I put the other one down. I put the other one down. You put the back one, you put the back one up, at the same time you put the other one down. So, the slide is over. We're gonna put this leg down and this leg, sorry, we're gonna put this leg um, up, and this leg down at the same time. Down and up. Down and up. And then we're going to slide the other back. Down and up. Slide the other back. Down and up. Slide the other back. And repeat. Now why this is so easy is because you're not, because the whole thing that makes a moonwalk difficult is the pressure, you know, when you're actually pushing Michael style. In this case, in my in the cheating way, all you're doing is lifting one foot and sliding the other back. That's it. Very, very basic. And then you're simply swapping. And you're sliding back. And you're swapping. And you're sliding back. And you're swapping. And you're sliding back. And you're swapping. And you're sliding back. Okay? Once you practice by just doing this, one foot slide, one foot slide, one foot slide, that is just to practice the actual sliding of it. Once you've mastered the sliding part, and you can actually do the swapping. Now, it'll take a while before you learn Michael's style, because like I said, pushing is not easy. But eventually, once you practice enough over and over and over again, you will be able to push just like Michael, as so. Boom. Okay. There's also another kind of moonwalk Michael Jackson does. He also does a standing moonwalk which is where you just literally do the sliding move I tell you, the one, the one sliding move, but you do it with both feet. You do it with both feet, both feet, both feet, both feet. Now one thing Michael does to make the illusion of this move really cool is when he slides back, you may notice, before he puts it forward again, he throws it and then does that, okay? If I have to look this, I'm doing sliding, but there's no real cool illusion here. What Michael does is he slides and then throws it forward and then back and touches the floor. And then he'll go back. See? Throw. Throw. Back. Throw. Back. Throw. Back. Throw. Back. So here's how the throw works. The foot comes back, you throw it midair, and then you bring it back, then you hit the ground. And just as you hit the ground, that's when it goes back, okay? So you throw, back, hit the ground, and then you set your back. Now you don't want to throw like that, you just do a little throw like, here's the, here's the front of my toe. 
So you want the stroke to be about here, maybe here even. And then you hit the ground and bring it back. So here's how it looks with the throw. Throw, 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 throw. And that's the throwing move. Okay, and lastly, we'll do the spinning uh, moonwalk. I'm not sure what we call the moonwalk, but we'll do it. Basically what he does is, you go on your heels like this, heel, and you do a little spin. You do a little spin, then you take one foot, and you push it a little bit forward, like this, move it forward, slide it forward on the heel, lift it up, and then you do a little spin, and the other foot should be beside it. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Then you go forward again, and you do a little spin. Go forward, you do a little spin. And as you do faster, it should look something like this. And then you can even put in the hand motions to make it look like you're in a box. Michael would do this. It's the mime trick. You see what I'm doing here? The mime. The mime. And there's the mime. By the way, I forgot to mention, for all three of these moonwalks, you want to make sure your upper body is correct. So, I know I bend myself a lot because it's hard and I'm, I have bad posture. But anyway, here's what you're supposed to do. Keep your body straight, keep your back straight, keep your shoulders up. And you want to go, you want to keep that shit real straight. Your shoulders and your back should all be nice and straight. And also the final touch, Michael's neck. You may notice Michael's neck looks like a giraffe. He does this. There's no particular way to do it. You just, as you're sliding through the moonwalk, go like this with your neck. During the milk, it looks like this. Like that. I'm gonna bring your neck into it. I don't know why he does it, but that's what he does. And there's the neck. And one more final moonwalk. This sidewalk. The sidewalk's done like this. You put one foot up, straight up like this, other foot on an angle. And you just simply push it. So you push it to the side. And then what you want to do is you want to use this foot, what you've done, and this one goes down, and you use this one, dig it in, and you bring the other one like this. So you bring it towards you, and then you push, and you push, and you push. Now again, there's a cheating way to do this. Sometimes, sometimes what I think, you may have seen it in my videos, sometimes I think it's a lot easier. I don't actually use this leg at all. <laughs> I don't actually use this one at all many times. What I do sometimes is do the push with this one, and let this one just drag. Watch. This time, I'm going to push this one, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to let this one drag, just bleh, on the ground. Watch. This one literally just dragged. All I did with it was move it as I went. I moved it as I went. I moved it as I pushed it. But the actual pushing is with this leg. I go like this, push, push, and then heel, over, and push. Heel over, push. Basically, a moonwalk with your foot with your foot pointing straight. You want to push, over, up, push. Over, up, push. Now, the hard, hard way, like I said, I let this one just fly as it goes. What you're supposed to do, like I said, you push and then you take this leg and use it somehow to bring this foot to it. And you push. Bring it to you. Push. Bring it to you. Push. But that's very, very, very difficult. And I haven't mastered it yet, so I can't explain it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Start moving.